Disassociative Identity Disorder, formerly known as Multiple Personality Disorder, was included in the DSM-5, the Handbook of Mental Disorders. This has encouraged some people to claim that DID is generally accepted in the medical community. Proponents of DID believe repeated childhood abuse and trauma caused this disorder. As gripping as that may sound, past decades hold a thriving body of evidence that's determined DID in fact originates from the therapeutic experience. Therapists who advocate the validity of DID explain it as the presence of two or more distinct identities or personality states that recurrently take control of the individual's behavior, accompanied by an inability to recall important personal information. DID advocates claim that the mind becomes fragmented when a child is in a situation of extreme trauma and the memories of this traumatic event are repressed unconsciously to keep heinous memories secret in the shadows of their mind waiting to be recovered through therapy. However, in contrast, it has actually been established by psychologists such as Elizabeth Loftus, career memory researcher, Paul McHugh, distinguished service professor of psychiatry at Johns Hopkins University, and many more, that techniques used to scout out repressed memories as the catalyst to invent pseudo-memories of trauma. Therapists who champion recovered memory practices often believe a patient's problems result from past trauma, and those people entering therapy reporting no history of childhood abuse end up conforming to their therapist's persuasion and search for the cause of their issues. Once the belief in past trauma has blossomed, it becomes reinforced through therapists reinterpreting any symptom the patient reports as evidence of trauma, which leads to A plus B equals C conjectures such as, you have migraines? That's a symptom of childhood trauma, and you have DID. You have anxiety? That's a symptom of childhood trauma, and you have DID. You have an eating disorder? Childhood trauma, DID. Consequently, these techniques trivialize childhood trauma and carelessly misdiagnose people. Often patients adhere to the false memories of abuse since it provides cause of their symptoms and pain. Further examination of the DID diagnoses shows a relationship to conspiracy theories such as mind control, alien abduction, and satanic ritual abuse. Rarely, when looking at the science of DAD, will you find it separate from the radical conspiracy theories. But that's another deplorable topic for another day. The International Society for the Study of Trauma and Disassociation demonstrated DID is actually a disorder created iatrogenically when they answer the question, how to find out if you have DID? And this organization's answer was, if you are in psychotherapy, ask your therapist what they think.